You know those moments when you see something so absurd, so utterly deranged, that your brain simply refuses to believe it exists? This is one of those moments. The McMurtry Sperling isn't a car. It's a science experiment with a death wish. It's what happens when you take the rule book, set it on fire, and then drive over the ashes at 150 miles per hour in silence. Because this thing, despite looking like a jet-powered roller skate, is electric. But unlike every other EV that hums politely and goes on about sustainability, the Sperling is here to do one thing and one thing only, destroy physics. It's got twin electric motors over 1,000 horsepower and weighs less than a Mazda MX-5's thoughts. Zero to 60? 1.4 seconds. That's not acceleration, that's teleportation. And then there's the fan. Oh yes. Underneath, it has a fan that sucks the car to the road. Literally, like a vacuum cleaner on steroids. It creates 2,000 kilograms of downforce at a standstill. That's more grip than a Formula One car. When it moves, it sounds like an F1 car trying to play the bagpipes while being chased by a Dyson. The result? It obliterated the Goodwood hill climb record. Left everything, Formula cars, Le Mans legends, multi-million pound hypercars for dead. And here's the best part, it's only this big. Smaller than a Fiesta, yet faster than your understanding of reality. Inside, there is no inside. You get a steering wheel, some buttons, and a dashboard that basically says, try not to die. There are no compromises here, no cup holders, no infotainment. Just a monocoque missile that exists purely to make the fastest cars in the world weep into their carbon fiber. The Sperling doesn't care about comfort, legacy or brand prestige. It exists to embarrass the establishment, to tear up your expectations and hurl them out the side window. If it had windows, this isn't just the future. It's the future screaming past you so fast you didn't even notice it had already won.